All right, we're out with a uh, swap with Dove. We just flew the swap with Camel over there. Successful flight, bad landing, bent the gear. Weak spot on those planes. This one, the gear's good. I think I might copy this guy's gear and just make it bigger because the swap with is much bigger than, than this one. I mean, the Camel's bigger than the Dove. In real life, I guess the Camel is bigger than the Dove, isn't it? But they yeah, no, a different scale, so I believe. Post war, World War One. All right, put in my hat. Sun seems to be coming out. Bit of a chilly day today. Um, direct crosswind. That's another reason uh, we kind of buggered the gear. I think it was a mixture of uh, crosswind and landing in a hole. It's a little rut over here, and I landed in it. I think that's what it was. All right, let me get this beastie going. Oh, I didn't bounce the propeller yet. Oops. Just right up, just like she should. Look at that. It's a beautiful plane. I think I like the camel better. They both fly like identical. Well, they're pretty much the same plane. It's just one has two seats in it, and one has one seat. A little bit of up trim, might be the wind. Oh, wind caught it there. Yeah, it's definitely the wind. Some more up trim. Yeah. A little bit of down. we we'll get her right eventually. There we go. She's in trim again. <coughs> it's a nice plane. I gotta uh, get the guy the camel uh, a floppy scarf. It's got a scarf, but it's not floppy. Let's go for a big loop out this way. Should have brought the pits with me. Could have been biplane day. Oh, and that's the uh, 5A. That propeller being unbalanced like that, it's probably vibrating the hell out of the plane. But it kind of sounds like a, a nitro. doesn't snap. She just does a rollover and a bit of a tumble. I haven't tried to snap the camel yet. It's kind of big and slow. This guy, he rocks. It's got a, a BL-15 in it, running on a Forest 2600. Uh, I think it's a 60 amp ESC. It's the powertrain out of a V900 that sadly Came to its demise out here, expiry date, right into the ground. But every plane I crash makes parts for other ones. So the V900 lives on. <laughs> Organ donor. So we can get it to go into the wind. Look at that. It's got enough power to pull out of a stall with ease. Oh, there's my timer.
This thing lands better than that does. You can taxi back from the landing, you've done a good job. It's a tail dragger, so. Take a bit to get it back over this way. And there's that rut right there. Made it over the fine. Oh, come on. Turn. There we go. I'll get a parking job I can get better. Oh! I'd say that's a good parking job. There we go. You see the size difference between the two now. They're both uh, swap boys. They're pretty much both camels. Just it's got an extra seat. I believe that was used as a mail plane. And this was a fighter, of course. I hope you're seeing. I'll take that other hat. That'll probably work better. Yeah, you can see them there. A big 6S battery and 4S battery. Oh, I fixed the stripes on that. This here just flies like a dream. Should bring more batteries for these two. Really like them. And I did that. That flew good. And I got these little beasties to fly. I think I'm going to fly the Haboo next. All right. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Ciao for now.